So I don't remember how I stumbled on this, but I did. This started with a website that I found called sapient.inc for the Sapient AI company. And at the top, it looks like your standard venture capital AI fuff. It's got a cool 3D vector mountain range rotating slowly in the background and then big text in front of it that says, we are building self-evolving machine intelligence to solve the world's most challenging problems. It's all that lofty stuff, whatever. But as you scroll down, they're actually doing something pretty cool. They're working on a hierarchical recurrent model, which I have just realized I've been saying hierarchical learning model this whole time. So my apologies. HRM, hierarchical recurrent model, which is fundamentally different than the large language models that we're all used to. And it works in a different way, a lot closer to a, a typical recurrent neural network. It's very loop based. They try and describe it in terms of like being like the human brain. But I think that a lot of those analogies kind of fall apart and everything's so wrapped up in hype now. I feel like it, it turns me off to talk about them that way. So let's talk a little more pragmatically about what they are. A hierarchical, a hierarchical recurrent model basically has two workers going. It has a high level one and a low level one. The high level one is like a manager that is overseeing the problem. And the low level worker goes at a much faster tempo and just iterates on things really quickly at the instruction of the high level worker. Uh, as an example, one of the things that they throw this at is Sudoku and solving mazes, finding the optimal route through a maze. Both tasks require a lot of reasoning. And that's what these things are really good at. Unlike an LLM where it's trained on like a corpus of a large amount of human knowledge, these are sort of deployed in a more task specific way. So you would give an HRM the Sudoku board and then the high level manager part of it will look at the entire board and say, all right, we got this and this. It looks like we should start in this corner. Go for it. And then the worker part goes and starts working on that. And then it comes back to check in with the manager who looks at the big picture, that sort of thing. Uh, those are two transformer blocks doing that. You have the orchestrator and you have the doer. And then there's other mechanisms that come into play to help evaluate it at different steps to decide like when the task is done or whatnot. Another aspect of this being so task specific is that unlike an LLM, because it's not trained on this massive corpus, it's good at one thing. It is good at the thing that you set it to. It is not pre-trained like an LLM and then fine-tuned for a specific task like an LLM is. This is something that you train to solve a specific Sudoku board or solve a specific maze. And they are extremely good at doing that. And they are much more similar to traditional recurrent neural networks, which are very loop-based, looping through, evaluating its own output and recursively going through that. There's a great conceptual breakdown on Medium uh, by writer Arvind Nagaraj, and I'm really sorry if I've butchered your name. Uh, it's a really great sort of illustrative uh, way to think about this, again, using sort of workers and like an office as the way to con conceive of it, like I've been trying to do. But he breaks it down in more detail. So these things are extremely good at task-specific reasoning. Because LLMs, as we've seen, they try and do reasoning through these chain of thought, right, where they like write down, I'm thinking about this, I'm working on this, and it tries to sort of do that as a way to direct that next token prediction to try and arrive at what is kind of like reasoning, whereas this is actually a much more recursive and iterative reasoning thing. But again, an HRM isn't going to be able to tell you anything if you ask it, like, why is the sky blue? It's going to be like, I'm trying to solve Sudoku right now. So they are something that is much more effective at reasoning than an LLM and something that I'm thinking we'll start seeing deployed more like a tool for an LLM to use. Like you ask ChatGPT to help you with this complex thing that involves reasoning and it invokes an HRM. And that goes at the task, you know, because it is essentially training itself on doing it. The trade-off is, of course, that these are a lot slower. Uh, the, the Medium article puts it as, this creates the supercar in a traffic jam problem. Even with an army of powerful GPUs, the fundamentally serial nature of the reasoning process means you can't just throw more hardware at it to speed it up in parallel. You have to wait as the model patiently completes its winding iterative trip through all of the reasoning. Uh, the second trade-off is focus versus flexibility, which I was just talking about. HRM is the ultimate specialist. LLMs are more of like a generalist thing. And HRMs are best at closed world problems where all of the rules and information needed to solve the problem are contained in the prompt itself or in the problem itself. It is a pure reasoning engine. It is the manager and the worker. They are given a task. They figure out how to do that task. And that's it. So there, again, no pre-training. It's essentially the training is the same as using it, which is kind of cool. 
And this author also says, you know, the dream team is that LLMs can be the generalist and the HRM can be the specialist. This article is great. I definitely recommend reading it. I'll link it in the description. I feel like I have seen other iterations of a similar thing. There are more specific technicalities that make this different than like using two LLMs to try and do the same thing because of the way that the learning works on a more granular level. But when they took it and put it against the, uh, the ARC AGI tests, let me see if I can blow up this picture for you. Um, it performed better than uh, DeepSeek R1. So uh, I'll just give you more specifics. So they were talking about uh, Sudoku, Extreme, 9x9 nine nine Sudoku, 1,000 training examples. The HRM was able to get 55% accuracy, while O3 Mini, Claude 3.7, and DeepSeek R1 got zero. Um, it is better at LLMs on these specific closed world problems, and it is absolutely useless at broader general ones. If you want to play with it, it's up on GitHub, the hierarchical reasoning model from Sapient Inc. Uh, they got great instructions, some checkpoints, so that if you want to just launch it and give it Sudoku and see how it do, you can do that. Uh, I would highly encourage you to check that out. All of the information you need is in the show notes. And in our next segment, we're going to talk about something completely different. I have a story for you about getting your smart home devices hijacked by a calendar invite, but not your standard malicious calendar invite. This one's a bit more sneaky. Stick around. This is The Fake Files. 